Anthony Charles Robert Armstrong Jones, 1st Earl of Snowden GCVOFRSARDI, March 7, 1930, January 13, 2017, was a British photographer and filmmaker who married Princess Margaret, the sister of Queen Elizabeth II. Armstrong Jones was the only son from the marriage of the barrister Ronald Armstrong Jones, 1899-1966, and his first wife Anne Messel, later Countess of Rossa, 1902-1992. He was born at Eaton Terrace, Belgravia, in London. 2. He was called Tony by his close relatives. 3 4 5. Armstrong Jones's paternal grandfather was Sir Robert Armstrong Jones, the British psychiatrist and physician. 6. His paternal grandmother, Margaret Armstrong Jones, nay Roberts, was a graduate from Somerville College, Oxford and was the daughter of Sir Owen Roberts, the Welsh educationalist. 7. A maternal uncle was Oliver Messel, 1904-1978, a maternal great-grandfather was the punch cartoonist Lindley Sanborn, 1844-1910, and his great-great-uncle Alfred Messel was a well-known Berlin architect. 8. Additionally, his great-great-grandmother, Frances Lindley, was a first cousin of Elizabeth Lindley, wife of Richard Brinsley Sheridan. 9. Armstrong Jones's parents divorced in 1935 when he was five years old. 10. As a schoolboy he contracted polio while on holiday at their country home in Wales. During the six months that he was in the Liverpool Royal Infirmary recuperating, his only family visits were from his sister Susan. 11-12. Armstrong Jones was educated at two independent boarding schools, first at Sandroid School 13, in Wiltshire from the autumn term of 1938 to 1943. Armstrong Jones then attended Eton College, beginning in the autumn term, Michaelmas half, of 1943. 14. In March 1945, he qualified in the extra special weight class of the school boxing finals. 15. He continued to box in 1946, gaining at least two flattering mentions in the Eton College Chronicle. 1617. In 1947, he was a coxswain in Eaton's traditional 4th of June daylight procession of boats. 15. He then matriculated at the University of Cambridge, where he studied architecture at Jesus College but failed his second year exams. 18. He coxed the winning Cambridge boat in the 1950 boat race. 19. After university, Armstrong Jones began a career as a photographer in fashion, design and theatre. His stepmother had a friend who knew Baron the photographer. Baron visited Armstrong Jones in his London flat, which doubled as his work studio. 20. Baron, impressed, agreed to bring on Armstrong Jones as an apprentice, first on a fee paying basis 20, but eventually, as his talent and skills became apparent to Baron, as a salaried associate. 21. Much of his early commissions were theatrical portraits often with recommendations from his uncle Oliver Messel, and society portraits highly favored in Tatler, which, in addition to buying a lot of his photographs, gave him byline credit for the captions. 22. He later became known for his royal studies, among which were the official portraits of Queen Elizabeth II and the Duke of Edinburgh for their 1957 tour of Canada. 23. He was also an early contributor to Queen Magazine, the magazine owned by his friend Jocelyn Stevens. 24-25. In the early 1960s, Snowden became the artistic advisor of the Sunday Times magazine, and by the 1970s had established himself as one of Britain's most respected photographers. Though his work included everything from fashion photography to documentary images of inner city life and the mentally ill, he is best known for his portraits of world notables, many of them published in Vogue, Vanity Fair, and the Daily Telegraph magazine. His subjects include Marlene Dietrich, Lawrence Olivier, Maggie Smith, Leslie Caron, 22, Lynn Fontana, 22, David Bowie, Elizabeth Taylor, Rupert Everett, Anthony Blunt, 26, David Hockney, 27, Princess Grace of Monaco, Diana, Princess of Wales, Barbara Cartland, Rain Spencer, when she was Lady Lewisham, Desmond Guinness, 27, British Prime Minister Harold Macmillan, 27, Iris Murdoch, 27, Tom Stoppard, 27, Vladimir Nabokov, 27, and J.R.R. Tolkien. 28. Over 100 of his photographs are in the permanent collections of the National Portrait Gallery in London. 
29. In 1968 he made his first documentary film, Don't Count the Candles, 30, for the U.S. television network CBS, on the subject of aging. It won seven awards 31, including two Emmys. 32-33. This was followed by Love of a Kind, 1969, about the British and animals, 34, Born to be Small, 1971, about people of restricted growth 35, and Happy Being Happy, 1973. 36. In October 1981 a group portrait by Snowden of the British rock band Queen was used on the cover of their Greatest Hits album. In 2000 a Snowden portrait of Freddie Mercury was used on the cover of his The Solo Collection box 